yesterday we saw weak axiom of revealed preference we did one example too and we also talked about direct and indirect revealed preference now what is strong axiom of revealed preference is strong axiom of revealed preference is this if x is revealed preferred to y whether directly or indirectly then it should not be the case that y is revealed preferred to x whether directly or indirectly so even indirect reveal preference is taken care of under strong axiom of reveal preference that's what it is uh, so let me write the definition first if the bundle if the bundle x is revealed preferred directly or indirectly to the bundle y and these are two distinct bundles x is not equal to y then it should not be the case that y is revealed preferred to x whether directly or indirectly then it is never the case that y is revealed preferred whether directly or indirectly to x so what you are saying you are saying this x is directly revealed preferred to y or x is indirectly reveal prefer to y then it should not be the case that y is directly reveal prefer to x or y is indirectly reveal prefer to x right then it should not be the case that y is directly or indirectly reveal prefer to x so the best way to learn this is through an example so we have shown you this example and uh, this example is asking whether for the following data is sap satisfied so what does it say for the price vector p consumption vector x is chosen so when the prices were p x is chosen when prices were p dash x dash is chosen when prices were p double dash x double dash is chosen right so let we let us form the table again that is uh, and let us see whether at prices p x dash and x double dash were affordable or not whether at prices p dash x and x double dash are affordable or not <coughs> and at prices p double dash whether x and x dash were affordable or not then we'll see whether there is any direct reveal preference or indirect reveal preference yeah so let us form the table here so we have just written uh, what the table should look like so these were uh, the bundles beta x x dash x double dash these are the prices p p dash and p double dash so what i'll do is let me just find out first of all the chosen bundle so what is the chosen bundle at price p x is chosen so and you can find out uh, what is going to be uh, the expenditure 1 into 1 sorry 1 into 3 plus 3 into 1 plus 10 into 4 that's what the expenditure and i think this comes out to be 46 similarly 
at prices p dash x dash is chosen let me just write that the expenditure is 41 4 into 2 plus 3 into 5 plus 6 into 3 <clears throat> and at prices p double dash x double dash is chosen expenditure is 23 1 into 4 plus 1 into 4 plus 5 into 3 this is 23 now let me also find out if at prices p x dash was chosen what would have been the expenditure is is bundle x dash affordable at price p or not let me just check that so when I find out the expenditure, it comes out to be 47. As you guys could see, when it prices P, X was chosen, X dash is not affordable because you need to spend more than what you spend at X. Similarly, you, want, you wanted to see at price P, whether X double dash is affordable. And when you find out the expenditure, it comes out to be 646. So 1 into 4 plus 3 into 4 plus 10 to 3. So, at prices P, when you have chosen X, X double dash was affordable. So, it means what? That X is, you have shown your preference over X, right? You, you have shown your preference towards X over X double dash. So, how do you write that? You write it like this. That is, at price P, When X was chosen, X, da X double dash was affordable. So let me just write it somewhere so that I may not forget it. Hmm? I'll come back to it. Then at prices P dash when X dash was chosen, my expenditure was 41. At prices P dash, let me check whether what would have been my expenditure if X and X double dash were chosen. So when X was chosen, my expenditure would have been 39, 4 into 3, plus 3 into 1, plus 6 into 4. And at prices P dash, if X double dash were chosen, then uh, the expenditure would have been 46. Same thing, 4 into 4, plus 3 into 4, plus 6 into 3. Now, when it prices P dash, X dash was chosen, X was affordable. So let me also mark these points. So at prices P, when X was chosen, X double dash was affordable. At prices P dash, when X dash is chosen, X was affordable, like this, right? Now let me just find out, of course, I mean, X double dash is not affordable because it is costing you more. Now. What about this guy? At prices P double dash, X double dash is chosen and your expenditure is 23. Let me, let me just see whether X and X dash were affordable at these prices or not. And once you do that, you get the expenditures 24 and 22. So naturally, 22 is less than 23. It means that when you're choosing X double dash at price P double dash, X dash was affordable. X dash was affordable. So let me write these points once more. Uh, first of all, for P dash at price P dash when X dash was chosen, X was affordable. X was affordable and at price P double dash when X double dash was chosen X dash was affordable x dash was affordable right so let me just write that just think about it can i write it like this 
when x is chosen x double dash was affordable right and uh, so it means what x is directly revealed preferred over x double dash that's right when x is chosen x double dash was affordable so x is directly revealed preferred over x dash and when x double dash was chosen beta here was x affordable no so it means what but x dash is not directly revealed preferred over x right so between these two bundles your warp is satisfied at prices p dash when x dash was chosen x was affordable so it means what it means what x dash is directly revealed preferred over x but x dash is directly revealed preferred over x so when x was chosen was x dash affordable no but x is not directly reveal preferred to x dash is this right beta so when you're choosing x dash x was affordable but when you're choosing x x dash was not affordable again this is satisfied x double dash right when x double dash is chosen x dash was affordable so x double dash is directly revealed preferred to x dash but when x dash was chosen x double dash is not affordable but x dash is not directly revealed preferred to x double dash you with me but x dash is not directly revealed preferred to x dash so what you can what you can conclude that warp is not violated warp is not violated now let us look at sap how let us look at this well x is directly reveal preferred to x double dash x is directly reveal preferred to x double dash as you guys could see here and x double dash is directly revealed preferred to x dash x double dash is directly revealed preferred to x dash so by transitivity x is indirectly revealed preferred to x dash right but x dash is directly revealed preferred to x you with me so there is an indirect reveal preference of x over x dash but there is a direct reveal preference of x dash over x so sap is violated you with me so sap is violated out here similarly you guys can see so it's a violation violation of sap sap says what whether x is directly or indirectly revealed preferred over x dash it should not be the case that x dash is directly or indirectly revealed preferred over x that's an idea now let us look at the second violation so second violation says what x double dash is directly revealed preferred over x dash right that's true x double dash is directly reveal preferred over x dash and x dash is directly reveal preferred over x so by transitivity x double dash is indirectly reveal preferred over x x double dash is indirectly reveal preferred over x 
that's what you're saying but just look at this x is directly revealed preferred over x double dash <coughs> so this is also violation of sub x is directly revealed preferred over x double dash you can also look at the third example a third violation out here so x dash is directly revealed preferred over x and x is directly revealed preferred over x double dash so x dash is indirectly revealed preferred over x double dash x dash is indirectly revealed preferred over x double dash but you look at this case but x double dash is directly revealed preferred over x dash had we done so this is what is also the violation of sum this is also violation of sum so you have so sub is violated out here right sub is violated out here thank you beta